In this video, you'll learn how to use the Register for Classes and View Schedule feature. Begin by logging into your FSW Portal account and click on the Student Profile icon. Then, click on the Registration and Planning link under Additional Links. Click on Register for Classes. Then select the term you wish to register for. On the Find Classes tab, enter the search information for the class or classes you want to look for. For more detailed information on how to search, please refer to the Search for Classes help video. If you know the CRN number for the classes you'd like to add, you can add these directly from the Enter CRNs tab. Click Add to Summary to add the course to your registration summary in the lower right-hand portion of your screen. Pending courses will appear grayed out until you have submitted classes for registration. As you add classes to your summary sheet, they will appear in the schedule block in the lower left portion of your screen. You can adjust the sizing of these boxes by clicking on the arrows and dragging the border to the size you prefer. Click on the middle square to return these boxes to the default sizing. To register from a previously created course plan, click on the Plans tab in the upper left of your screen. This will bring up any plans you or your advisor have created. Click the triangles to the left side of each bar to drop down your plans if they have been hidden. If you planned for a course but did not select any sections, you will need to do so here. You cannot add a course to your registration summary until you have selected a specific section. Click View Sections on the right of your screen to view sections for that course. Once you find a section you'd like to add, you can click the Add button on the right side of your screen. This will add the course to your schedule summary. Be sure to click Submit in the lower right of your screen to save your changes. If you are trying to register for a course that you are not authorized to take, you will receive an error message that pops up in the upper right portion of your screen. These messages may include items such as prerequisite error or co-requisite error. You will need to address these errors before you can register for the indicated course or courses. To drop a class, navigate to the Registration Summary. Select the Remove option in the Action column and click Submit to finalize your changes. To review your schedule from the registration page, click on the Schedule and Options tab. This will show a summary of the courses you are registered for at the top of the page. You will have the option to email and export the schedule as an ICS file or print your schedule. The bottom of the page shows a block schedule view. Click Schedule Details to view a more detailed view of your schedule, including the professor and location of your classes. To view your current schedule, Click on the View Schedule link in the Registration menu. On the Look Up a Schedule tab, select the term you'd like to view registration for. Your schedule will appear in the middle of the screen. The schedule will display helpful information such as course titles, part of term, and the CRN number for the class. At the bottom of the screen you can see a block view of your schedule so you know which classes you have on what days. You can adjust the size of the block view by clicking and holding down the arrows as you drag them to the desired sizing. In the upper right corner, you will find a link to print or email your schedule. You can also email an ICS file to your calendar. The printed schedule will also show the campus, building, and room information as well as the professor teaching the class. By clicking on the Schedule Details tab in the bottom portion of your screen, you will see a more detailed version of your schedule, including the time and day, the professor, campus, building, and room information. By clicking on the course title in either this or the upper portion of your screen, you will see class details, including a link to the bookstore for materials needed in this course. Clicking on the professor's name in this area will pull up their contact information, including their school email address. Clicking on the Active Registrations tab toward the top of the page will take you to an additional view of your schedule. You can view your tuition and fees by clicking on the Tuition and Fees link in the Summary box. 
a new box will pop up showing the current charges on your account. You can then make payments and view account activity by clicking on the account information link. Please note that the fees displayed are only a reflection of current registration charges. These do not include any aid, grants, waivers, or past due balances.